Coach Dave Van Horn, along with all SEC, all defensive SEC center fielder Peyton Holt, pitcher Mason Molina. In a moment, kid, Coach Van Horn will give an opening statement, and then we'll take questions directed just to the players, please. Marlon Seth will have Seth will have a wireless microphone. Please wait to be called upon, and uh, for the sake of those watching online, Coach, if you give us an opening statement. Yeah, just uh, really got to give credit to Kentucky. Uh, they came out and they played a really good ball game. Obviously, uh, made all the plays defensively. Really, a couple of really nice plays in the infield and. Uh, you know, when we made a mistake, they hit it out of the park for the most part. And uh, we didn't play a clean game. You know, the first inning, we we got behind early, uh, threw a ball away and didn't catch a ball at second. And, uh, you know, bang, we gave them two runs. And they're, you know, they're tough to catch because when they get ahead of you, they can they can do some things. And uh, But I was proud of our team for battling back, got back in the ball game after Peyton swing with two outs, drove in three and, you know, all of a sudden we're down two. The inning that killed us probably the bottom of the seventh kind of ran the momentum back over to them, and uh, we found ourselves back down five. But uh, it was really good to see Mason pitch well again. He threw well in relief. Uh, game two against A&M, the game we needed to win to, to wrap up the West. And uh, this is his first outing since, and he he matched it again through really well. So, uh, you know, he'd been on the road about a week. Uh, you know, obviously didn't like the way we I didn't like the outcome, but uh, you know, we know that we, we've got a big week ahead of us and we got to get ready for next weekend. All right, we'll take questions from the players. Please raise your hand if you have one. On the left side, front row. My left, my apologize. Uh, hey there, uh Mason. Um, this is Tom Murphy, Arkansas Democrat Gazette. Your last two outings have gone well. Just kind of how do you feel about maybe a potential new role or getting back in the starting position? Yeah, I'm going to throw where I'm needed, and that's up for them to decide, and I'm just going to go out there and pitch to the best of my ability wherever they want me. So um, we haven't talked about it yet, um, but I'm just going to go out there and throw to the best of my abilities. What's been good for you, though, these last two outings? Um, I think my command has been much better. I've just been filling up the zone with strikes with all four pitches, just being able to command my fastball, which is a huge part of how I pitch. And so that and the slider getting a little bit harder has really helped me just kind of, you know, go at hitters. Peyton, uh, getting some offensive momentum going maybe toward the postseason. Y'all scored some runs here in Hoover. Maybe what do you think about where you guys are offensively right now? I mean, I think we're – Right where we need to be. Uh, yeah, we didn't we didn't win the both game either game, but um, you know we're swinging it well. We just got to get those timely hits. Uh, cup just stack quabs and uh, just you know stay with our approach. On the front row on the right, uh, Jackson Fuller, Southwest Times record. Mason, just you know, how much difference has there been from you know moving from starter to bullpen? Has it has it been much? I mean, what have you had to change maybe mentally or? Uh, in preparation for coming out of the pen I think it was a really good thing for me it was able it allowed me to just kind of reset and not not overthink things and so that was something we were talking about over the last weeks just you know I was overthinking things and I was trying to be too fine and now I really don't have the luxury of thinking uh it's just kind of get hot go in the game and let your stuff work and so I think you know if I end up starting at some point again whether that's up to them or not um I, it would be I would try to transfer that over as much as I can more questions for the players on the right. Yeah, it's a question for both of y'all. Just talk about kind of putting this behind you, getting ready for the NCAA tournament, the regionals. Talk about the mindset going into the NCAA tournament and how you guys put it into starting the SEC tournament behind you. I mean, you're playing all year to get uh, to get to Omaha, and this is where it starts. And so uh, we've been preparing for this since August, and we're really not going to change much. We're going to do our work, uh, be intentional, and, uh, t you know, take take it day by day. Well said. Any more questions for the players? On that one last one. Wait for the microphone if you don't mind. Thank you. Hey, your home runs, maybe what kind of pitches you hit, and what, how do you feel in a zone or something right now? Uh, First, you know, the first one was just a two-strike fastball in. Uh, they've been they've been working me away soft, hard in all, uh, you know, all weekend. And uh, I finally, you know, just cheated it a little bit and caught it out front. Um, and then the next one was just uh, a slider he left over the middle of the plate. And, you know, with our approach with a guy like that, we're trying to stay hard through the middle, and I just caught it out front. All right. Peyton Mason, thank you for your time today. Thank you. Good luck in the postseason.
Are there questions for coach? Please raise your hand. We'll start on the left front row. Dave, as I was asking them, offensive momentum, how do you feel about maybe where you are as a run producing team right now? Yeah, I, I you know, it was a little bit up and down. You know, we, we left a lot of runners on base in the last two days. And, uh, you know, really the biggest hit we got was that three run homer. We got, you know, hit here or there, sack fly, you know, yesterday. But today's game was, you know, we're, again, we, in our beginning, we need to, we need another hit. And, uh, we've got to get better. We got to get better. I mean, that's what I just told them. We got to get more, we got to get more production up and down the lineup. Um, it's spotty right now. And, uh, you know, I think guys are trying too hard, trying to do too much instead of just, you know, take what they give you sometimes. So you know, what I'm talking about is maybe a couple guys going out of the zone, uh, put themselves in a bad count. We got to flip that, take the pitch, work for the next one. So, yeah, well, we we're gonna have to we're gonna have to swing the bats a lot better when we get to the regional. You use four or five guys who are potential postseason starters mm -hmm. for you today. How do you think that maybe sets you up? And do you have any difficult decisions to make about your starters yeah. next weekend? Like I said, I, I thought Molina threw really well the last two outings. Um, I thought Tiger was really good for an inning. Had a, had a hitter down 0-2, and you know just made a really big mistake, and he unloaded on it and. Uh, you know, it's a little careless things like that. You know, balls hit off the end of the bat, spinning like a top. You don't feel it with one hand; you feel it with two. You don't run away from it. Ball spun right out of his glove. I mean, when you're older, you you know that. Freshman, the younger guy, you know, it doesn't happen again down the road. But uh, you know that 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 inning couldn't happen right there. That was frustrating, but. Other than that, Tiger's first inning, man, he looked really good. His breaking ball going, spotting his fastball down, had a little movement, a little sink. And, uh, you know, it was good to see McIntyre just, you know, threw one hitter, but he threw pretty good. So, uh, Gage Wood, a couple really good hitters. Then get behind, when you get behind 2-0, second time they see and you got to throw a fastball in there, they jumped on him pretty good. Um, when he was ahead in the count, not a problem. So, uh, it's 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 process every day. You got to get better. You got to learn from it. Hopefully, hopefully next time on the mound, I'll do a little better. All right, on the fourth row in the center, Alex Day, College Baseball Central. Coach, what's the message to the team to kind of get them to refocus to get ready for the NCAA tournament? Well, get back and uh, rest up just a little bit. Um, the message out there was this is this is where we wanted to be. As far as we know, we're going to be in a regional, a really good opportunity to host. And, uh, you know, it's it's time to it's time to take a step forward. You know, we kind of went backwards a couple of weeks ago, sideways. We've been up and down. We need to we need to make a move and, and finish this thing up right. All right. Third row on the right. Mitch Davis, Mitch Davis, show.com. Coach, I want to ask you just about kind of piggyback off that question. How important or not important is the SEC tournament? to get success and, and, you know, the regionals and super regionals even get to Omaha. Depends on where you are. You know, it depends on your record at the time coming in here, it, uh, you know, or it depends on how you're playing. You're not playing very well. You come in here and you play really good. You can gain some momentum. Come in here and you got, you know, things locked up. And you just don't want to get anybody hurt. You want to play. Obviously you want to win. You don't like losing. You're used to winning. That's why you're in this position that you're in. Um, yeah, I mean, there's. It just depends on who you are and, and and where you're at as far as wins and losses and how you're playing. And I wouldn't say that it's not important. Uh, it's more. It's more important for some teams than it is others, like everybody knows. So, uh, if you're asking me if we should have a tournament or not, I'd say, yeah, we need to have a tournament. Front row on the right, coach. Just overall thoughts on Hagen's start today, shortened start. Yeah, I, I think uh, probably a little amped up leaving some things up, fastball up, and, uh, you know, just not not real sharp. And uh, I think he got a little frustrated. But, you know, we, that's about what we wanted him to throw right there, you know, 35, 40 pitches in uh, two to three innings max. And we just thought, hey, that's enough. So um, give him a little opportunity to, to, you know, have a couple days rest more than normal leading into next weekend. Uh, but. Yeah, Hagen's Hagen. He's good. It's not, it, it, it'll, you know, he'll be ready to go.
and then just some uncharacteristic defensive plays yeah. in, in the first. You think maybe that was just the early start or what, you know, went into that? Nah, you can't blame it on that. I mean, Hagan tried to quick pick and threw it wide, and he's one of the best fielding pitchers I've ever had. And, uh, you know, he, he just threw him into a scoring position there after a walk and frustrated him a little bit. And then the ball that was hit up the middle and he got jammed or hit it off the end. I think it was jammed. And Peyton, you know, pretty much lost it in the crowd. Uh, and and I feel like it was looking for the double play instead of just going and catching the ball with one arm instead of two. And uh, the ball ran from him a little bit. And, you know, who knows where it would have gone if we catch that ball as far as getting through that inning. But we didn't. And, uh, you know, had another pitcher error there late on that ball that was spinning. I mean, that ball started out over here and jumped over there. And we're like, whoa, that thing's spinning hard. And he just nonchalant it with one hand. It spun right out of his glove. And, you know, veteran's going to get down there and smother that thing because you know what's about to happen. And uh, so, yeah, those are those are a couple, three mistakes we, we normally don't make. And uh, we make those in the next weekend. We'll be in trouble. We have time for one more on the left. Dave, Kevin Skarbinski with the SEC blog. Obviously, the tournament format changes next year. Do you like the changes that are coming, all 16 teams, single elimination? I don't know yet. I don't know. I mean, I don't, I, I don't know. Um, uh, yeah, you know, you, a buy is always good, but you know, when you got to win, win or go home, it, it's, uh, it's a lot of travel if you don't win, you know, when you're in and out of here like that. So, uh, I, I don't know what else we can do. I mean, they've looked at everything, looked about like having two tournaments, mm -hmm. the winners play each other. I mean, it's, and you got to have two sites and you got to have two of everything. So, um, yeah, it'll be, uh, it'll be, it'll be interesting next year. So I didn't really answer your question. I'm sorry. All right, coach. We thank you for your time this okay. week and good luck. All right.